Take a look at this image on your screen. Yup, that's a 17 year old casually smashing records for fun. Lominia Mall has taken the footballing world by storm, but his crazy lifestyle is more shocking than his rise to the top. Dig deep into his background, family, personal life, and properties. Lamina Mal Nazarawi Ebana was born on July 13, 2007. Yeah, you heard that right, 2007. Yamal was born in Esplugas de Lobregat in the Barcelona metropolitan area of Catalonia, Spain, to a waitress from Equatorial Guinea named Sheila Ebana and Munir Nazrawi, a building painter from Morocco. Yamal had a pretty rocky childhood as his parents split when he was only three years old. His parents, however, remained present in his life, and by the time he was four, Yamal would join La Torreta, a local football club. But with his father living in another city in Mataro, Yamal grew up in the rather forgotten and stigmatized neighborhood of Rocafonda. Yamal still pays tribute to his local postcode of 08304 by celebrating goals with a gesture of the number 304. By the time he was six, Yamal was scattered by Barcelona and invited to training sessions at La Masia. And not long after, he signed for the club in 2014. It didn't take long to recognize that the kid was special and he was soon promoted to the juvenile teams above his age grade. By September 2022, and before signing his first professional contract, Barca's coach Xavi was already inviting a 15-year-old Yamal to train with the senior team. What in the world? Yamal made his first team debut at the end of April 2023, and let's say it's been a crazy ride so far. Yamal just turned 17 last month, but what he has done in his first full professional season is just crazy. Now playing as a right winger for Barcelona, Yamal has become arguably the best young footballer in the world. He made 50 appearances for Barca last season, scoring 7 goals and also assisting many more. Barcelona wasted no time in extending his contract until 2026, also inserting a 1 billion euro buyout clause. Barcelona president Joan Laporta claimed in an interview in March that they had rejected a 200 million euro offer for their brightest young star before they were forced to insert the buyout clause. Despite destroying so many records and setting many youngest ever records in addition to the man of the match performances, Yamal's Barcelona finished second in the league and was then beaten in the Champions League quarterfinal by PSG. However, that didn't stop Yamal from winning several individual awards. But let's get to the juicy part. His performance for Spain at the just concluded Euro 2024. Yamal won the European Championship Young Player of the Tournament and made the team after helping Spain to the title. He provided the most assists during the tournament and also scored the goal of the tournament. But what is special about Yamal's brand of football? You see, the left-footed teenager can function as a striker, attacking midfielder, or right winger. His range of vision, excellent passing, and shooting technique have earned him comparisons with Lionel Messi. Yamal also says Neymar had a major influence on his playing style. But let's throw the football out of the window and talk about what goes on behind the scenes. Yamal's relationship with Alex Padilla has been a hot topic among fans for a while now, and it has brought its fair share of controversy. Padilla is a TikTok star with millions of followers on social media. She reportedly attended a number of Spain's games during the Euro 2024 tournament, showing rumors that she was dating Yamal. We then spotted them posing together after Spain's win over England in the final. Following lots of public scrutiny and rumors overshadowing their personal lives, Padilla deactivated her Instagram account after a while. One of the misconceptions about their relationship has to do with the age difference as well as false narratives about their background. The word on the street is that Padilla is 20 years old, but there have also been rumors that she's only 18. This has led to reports concerning the issue of consent and underage dating. Also because the footballer is a practicing Muslim, courtesy of his Moroccan roots from his father Munir Nazrawi, there were speculations that Padilla converted to Islam because of her relationship with the footballer. However, we consider many of these rumors to be speculative, which means that we can't say for sure if they're true. However, we saw a whole new twist recently after Padilla took to social media to clarify the status of their relationship. Here's what she said. Please stop asking me if Lamine and I are together. I already answered the question. He and I have been friends since we were little. We are not dating. I have a boyfriend and please respect that. It didn't take long before we saw social media users suggest that Yamal might have also become the youngest player to be friendzoned. But for Yamal's personality, we know him to be a down-to-earth and modest guy. Despite being so popular at a young age, Yamal has managed to keep his head down. He's family-oriented and has a large support group keeping him grounded. 
When he's not on duty, you might find Yamal spending his vacation on crisp blue waters in exotic holiday destinations in Greece, as we can see here. As you would expect, he also loves swimming. Like many other footballers, Yamal also has an eye for luxury fashion clothes. Last time we checked, Yamal was keen on completing his education and has been going to school. He is also known to have an infectious personality, often smiling and dancing in the dressing room. But switching gears, let's talk about his properties. Yamal bought houses for his parents and grandmother at the age of 16. The property he purchased for his grandmother is near his former house in the Rocafonda area of Mataro in Catalonia. Yamal spends time with his grandmother whenever he has the chance as it is only 35 kilometers from Barcelona. The footballer also bought his mommy home near Bach, while the house he bought his dad is located in Barcelona. It's crazy when you consider that Yamal is still a teenager. He's already making sure that his family enjoys the best living condition. This guy is winning on and off the pitch. But when we looked at his garage, there wasn't much there for obvious reasons. On numerous occasions, we've seen the Spanish international sharing a vehicle with his teammates because he still does not have a car. So while you might have seen him in a BMW truck or a Cupra, he actually doesn't drive. Lamine doesn't have a license yet because in Spain you should be older than 16 to be allowed to drive with special permission, and only in certain kinds of cars. It's why you might have seen the footballer on the streets of Barcelona in his Cupra Formentor with his parents by his side. The Audi RS7 is yet another elegant car that Yamal has been associated with. The RS7 is a high performance sports car from Audi AG, part of the Volkswagen Group. The technical specifications vary depending on the model year and other specifications. Having already turned 17, we expect that Yamal's garage will start getting stacked in the coming months as soon as he gets his driver's license. But judging from his spending habits, can we put a number to Lamine Yamal's net worth? Let's find out. The footballer currently earns 32,000 euros weekly at Barcelona, which actually makes him one of the lowest paid players at the moment. That figure translates to roughly 1.7 million euros annually. Another half a million euros comes from bonuses and performance-related add-ons. It's safe to say that Yamal could become one of the highest paid young footballers if he keeps up with his extraordinary performances. The Spanish international also has sponsorship deals with Adidas and other endorsement deals thanks to his star power and strong social media following with around 20 million followers alone on Instagram at the time of this recording. Putting it all together, we can estimate Lamine Yamal's net worth to be around $15 million. Recently, rumors emerged that Yamal had transferred all his wealth to his mother's name, just like Moroccan footballer Ashraf Hakimi did during his famous 2023 divorce from Hiba Abu. However, those rumors seem to be baseless at the moment. Also, according to reports, super agent Jorge Mendes recently contacted the board at the Camp Nou to request an adjustment to the financial details of his client's contract following Yamal's Euro 2024 performances. It's quite likely that we see a significant pay rise in the coming months as Mendes continues to breathe down the necks of the Camp Nou board members. With the 2024 and 2025 season around the corner, all our attention turns to Lamine Yamal. What are your thoughts about the footballer and how well do you see him performing for Barcelona this season?